नमस्ते टू ऑल दिस सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोस व्हिच आई विल बी मेकिंग ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम एज पार्ट वन पार्ट टू पार्ट थ्री विल डेफिनेटली हेल्प यू टू गेट अ बेसिक्स ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग्स ऑफ वेदास ऑफकोर्स ऑल माय 800 प्लस वीडियोस सो फार वॉट एवर आई मेड विल गिव यू ओनली बेसिक्स ऑफ वेदास वॉट आई स्पीक हियर इज नॉट वेदिक नॉलेज इट इज जस्ट अ बुकिश नॉलेज बट स्टिल इट विल इंस्पायर यू इट हैज इंस्पायर्ड मेनी ऑफ यू टू कम टू द वेदिक पाथ so in this video we will see the names of almighty god from the book the light of truth by maharishi dhanan saraswati it is good always to read the book but many people feel that it is easier to understand and listen through a video or audio so maharishi has explained various names of almighty god from the vedas so he starts with a om om kham brahm say sejur veda 40 by 17 what is the meaning of om om avati iti om God is called as Om because he protects us. Akasham eva vyapakat vyapakatvat kham. God is called as kham because he is pervading like ether. Sarvebhyo brahatvad brahma. God is called as brahma because he is the greatest of the all. Chandogya Upanishad says Om iti etad aksharam udagitam upashita. the meaning is only that almighty god is worthy of adoration and none else whose name is om and who never perishes so when i mention almighty god i just refer to that almighty god of vedas and upanishad om not that almighty god many people have commented me you are preaching vedas you are speaking vedas why are you using the word god or almighty just for easiness to understand that's it it does not mean that when i use almighty god i refer to allah i refer to jesus i refer to krishna no i refer to the god of vedas and upanishads only mandukya upanishad says om ityetat aksharam idam sarvam tasyo pavyakhyanam beautiful meaning om in all the vedas and also other scriptures the chief and the own name of god is given as om all other names are attributive so for example just to make you understand if we mention agni agni also means almighty god agni also means the fire if i mention the word indra indra also means almighty god but indra also means the thunder in the sky indra can also mean an acharya of vedas indra can also mean a, a farmer based on the mantra but om is the only name in the vedas which does not have an other attribute except denoting almighty god that's why almighty god says in the vedas om is my best name that's what this mundakya uh, mandukya upanishad also says from kato upanishad om sarve veda yat padam amananti tapangsi sarvani cha yat vadanti यदिच्छन्तो ब्रह्मचर्यं चरन्ति तत्ते पदं संग्रहेन ब्रिवीमयो मित्तयेतत् ओम इज द नेम ऑफ दैट बीइंग हुम ऑल द वेदास डिस्क्राइब एंड डिक्लेअर वर्थी ऑफ होमेज वर्थी ऑफ होमेज मींस वर्थी ऑफ रिस्पेक्ट वर्थी ऑफ वर्शिप हुम ऑल डिवोशन एंड राइटियस एक्शन लीड टू एंड फॉर हुस रिलेशन लाइफ ऑफ ब्रह्मचर्य इज लिव्ड what a beautiful explanation next from manusmriti manusmriti says prashasitaram sarvesham maniyan smano rapi rukmabham swapnadigamyam swapnadigamyam vidyatam purusham param no him as paramatma no him as parama purusha the supreme being who is the teacher of all subtlest of all subtles self resplendent and unrealizable in yogic samadhi manusmriti says and manu bhagwan also says in chapter number 12 shloka number 123 etam magnim vadanta yeke manu manye prajapatim indra meke pare pranam apare brahma shashvatam different names of god is given by manu bhagwan here almighty god 
being self resplendent the name of god is agni being embodiment of all true knowledge the name of god is manu being the supporter of all the almighty god name is prajapati being all powerful his name is indra being the source of all life his name is prana and because of constant pervasiveness his name is brahma see 1 2 3 4 5 6 names in one shloka number 1 is agni number 2 is manu prajapati indra prana brahma six names of god with different attributes we have to understand the vedic fundamentals very clearly for us to understand the vedas next says upanishad vakya sa brahma sa vishnu sa rudra sa shivasso aksharas sa paramah swarat sa indras sa kala agni sa chandramah kala agni is a very important name i will explain you being the supreme in the universe almighty god is called as brahma being the pervader everywhere is called as vishnu for making the wicked weep by punishment is called as rudra for being blissful and benefactor to all his name is called as shiva yah sarvam ashnute na kshrati na vinashyati tad aksharam yah sarvam rajate sa swarat yo agniriva kalah kala itha pralaya kala karta sa kala agnirishwarah name of almighty god is akshar because he pervades all and it is Im- he is imperishable the name of god is swarat because he is self effulgent the name of almighty god is kala agni because he even consumes the time time consumes everything but almighty god consumes the time that is why he is called as kala agni next one is a beautiful mantra from rigveda 1 by 164 by 46 om indram mitram varunam agnim ahurato divyasya suparno garuttaman ekam sad vipra bahuda vadanta yagnim yamam matarishvanama hu hu god is the one who is second to none the real supreme being his alone are the various names indra mitra varuna all these names of almighty god are mentioned in the mantra but the mantra says ekam sad vipra ekam means god is one but he has different name as i explain he has name of brahma vishnu shiva rudra mahesh manu prajapati etc etc but those names are chanted those names are told by vipra vipra means realized atma realized one who has realized that almighty god who is a yogi acharya vidwan rishi muni only those people will tell the name of almighty god other people will tell the name of god as krishna rama allah jesus etc etc which are not in vedas as i mentioned in the previous video ram is there in vedas but ram is not the name of god in vedas ram is a name of a herb krishna is there in vedas but krishna means gravitational attraction or krishna means black color krishna is also name of a herb but krishna does not mean god name in the vedas so that fundamentals we should be clear here the mantra says of course marishi has not explained the mantra here but mantra my acharya has explained indram mitram varunam all these are the name of god ahu who means the vipra lok the yogi lok tells ahu means to to speak they speak the name of god so you want to understand god you have to go to them who is acharya of vedas indra means for example sarva shaktiman he is almighty that's why his name is indra mitra means one who is doing favor to all one who is friend to all he he is friend to all of us but only thing is he does justice that we have to understand then ekam divya divya sa suparno garutman these are names of almighty god based on his different qualities yo gurvatma ma garutman one whose atma is the highest supreme that is why almighty god is garutman matarishwa yo matarishwa vayuriva balavan sa matarishwa one who is supreme one who has supreme power like the vayu that's why almighty god is called as matarishwa then suparna शोभनानि पर्णानि पालनानि पूर्णानि कर्माणि वयस्य सह सुपर्ण ही डज नॉट हैव एनी शॉर्टकमिंग्स इन हिम 
he is most supreme he is the protector palanani he he gives the protection to us he is giving us food and everything and paripurnam he is he is complete in all respects that's why his name is called as suparna divya dyushu shuddheshu padarteshu bhavo divyah he is almighty he is also present as omnipresent in all the objects of the nature that's why almighty god as god is called as divya divya so these names are mentioned in the mantra and these names are told to us are spoken to us by vipra that almighty god is the only god whom we have to worship this is the meaning so i will explain i will come back to you in the part 2 please try to continue i am not i will not make every day it's not possible but i will try to make then and there for you to understand the fundamentals of almighty god thank you so much namaste om